A Shadle Park High School student is accused of sexually assaulting multiple other students. And now police say his stepfather threatened to kill the family of a witness in the case. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Robin Nance. Nadine has the night off. 39-year-old Marlon Pratt is charged with witness intimidation, harassment, threats to kill, and witness tampering. KXLY4's Grace Stitzler is working for you. And Grace, police say this was already a bad situation and Pratt's actions have made it much worse. Robin, police tell me that these victims have already been through enough being assaulted by a classmate, and now one of those victims and her family are dealing with threats to keep them from testifying in court. Like father, like stepson. Less than a month after a Shadle Park High School student was charged with assaulting his classmates, his stepdad was just arrested for threatening one of the victim's families. Marlon Pratt's 17-year-old stepson was charged in March with four counts of indecent liberties, six counts of unlawful imprisonment, indecent exposure, and fourth-degree assault. Court documents say three girls came forward saying they were sexually assaulted by the student at school in the period of two days back in February. In all three cases, the 17 year old allegedly grabbed the girls while they were in the hallways of Shadle, forcibly groped them, kissed them, and in one case exposed himself and tried to get the girl to perform a sex act. The case is, is moving through the ju judicial process um, and during that process um, some threats were made towards the witness and the parent of the witness. Now police say Pratt contacted one of the victim's mother and long-term boyfriend and threatened the family not to testify in the case. Court documents say Pratt then threatened to kill the mother and the boyfriend. I think they had no choice. They were so terrified that they were actually in desperation. It was getting that bad. Sergeant Mike McNabb says law enforcement takes threats like these very seriously. Well, at the very basics, we have a deep reverence for our victims' rights, and we want them to feel protected and safe through the judicial process, make sure they feel like they can come to court and tell their side like they need to and feel safe in that process. And Sergeant McNabb says witness intimidation in general is a very serious issue because not only can it put these victims in harm's way, but sometimes it can jeopardize a case if the victims no longer want to come forward. Robin. All right, and Grace, another issue in this case is that the 17 year old has a history of being sexually inappropriate with students. When he went to Rogers High School back in 2014, has anything changed with those victims? Well, I talked to police about that today, and like we were just mentioning with witnesses sometimes not coming forward, they tried to reopen some of these Rogers cases, and again, these witness or these victims in those cases decided that they no longer wanted to participate. Reporting live at Shadle High School tonight, Grace Stitzler, KXLY4 News.